Three months after getting married in a dream ceremony that was televised across the country, Golden Bachelor star Jerry Turner and his wife Teresa Nist have announced they are divorcing. In an interview on Good Morning America this morning, Jerry, 72, and Teresa, 70, disclosed their shocking separation and shared their reasons for it. It's probably time for Teresa and I to dissolve our marriage. We've had a number of heart-to-heart -heart conversations and we've looked closely at our situation, our living situation, and so forth, Jerry said to host Juju Chang. He acknowledged that their dedication to their individual families had a significant role in their choice to split up, suggesting that this has made it very challenging for them to choose where to start a family. Teresa, a securities professional from New Jersey, and Jerry, a retired restaurateur from Indiana, both have children from previous relationships, she has a son, a daughter, and six grandkids, while he has two daughters and two granddaughters. What really stands out to me from our conversations is how committed we both are to our families, Jerry said. After considering these circumstances, I believe we have come to the conclusion that living apart would be best for our individual satisfaction. Teresa revealed that the ex-couple had looked at several places around the nation in the hopes of finding the perfect house to begin their new lives together, but she stressed that they had done everything in their power to find a solution that would satisfy both of their families. We looked at house after house, in South Carolina, in New Jersey, and we never got to the point where we made that decision, she remarked. Teresa continued, I don't think we can tell you how many people told us that the Golden Bachelor gave them so much hope. We have received so much love and support from so many people who watched it. We don't want anything to change for anyone. No, Jerry responded when asked if they fell out of love. I still adore this person. I am without a doubt still in love with her and continue to support her daily. They continued by saying that although they would have to give their rings back, they were glad they could still have the memories they had together. Jerry proposed during the show's finale. The couple first met on the inaugural season of The Golden Bachelor, which debuted late last year. Teresa beamingly said in her vows, I promise to be your calm in a storm, to comfort you when you're sad, to laugh with you when you're happy, and just stick with you throughout it all, before they sealed the knot in a televised wedding in January. After the wedding, they asserted that they had found their person in an interview with GMA. The shocking revelation that Jerry and Teresa were still living apart three months after their wedding was made public only a few days ago. Additionally, according to TMZ, the married pair was actually living in different states. Teresa continued to live with her family in her $568,000 New Jersey home, while Jerry continued to live at his $637,000 lake house in northern Indiana. Teresa has family in New Jersey so it's difficult for her to quit her work, a source recently informed Life and Style. At first, they believed Jerry could live with her, but that didn't work out. Jerry said that finding a place to reside was a big problem for them back in December 2023. He claimed to people at the time that they intended to purchase a home in Charleston, South Carolina, together, but it doesn't appear that ever happened. He commented at the time, all of a sudden it's like, there's a big problem that is gone. There is no longer a problem with compromising on where to live, how to bring families together, and all of that. When Jerry came on the show, he won over millions of hearts with his portrayal of a loving retired restaurateur who had not gone on a single date since the unexpected death of his 45-year wife Tony in 2017 from an infection. But that reputation was soon destroyed by an investigation by The Hollywood Reporter that was made public following the conclusion. According to the publication, his background, both personal and professional, did not align with the image of a bereaved guy who had not been on a first date in many years. Rather, it asserted that he had a covert past with multiple blue-collar occupations and a three-year romance following the death of his wife. He claimed to have dated Carolyn, a woman 14 years his junior, and dumped her because she put on 10 pounds. Furthermore, according to his LinkedIn page, he had sold his Mr. Quick Hamburger franchise in Iowa, where he had worked his way up from high school, in 1985, and had not owned a restaurant since.
Although the show claimed he had been retired for decades, his CV on the internet shows he has worked different sales and managerial jobs in the meat industry since then. In Iowa, he also worked as a maintenance man and installed hot tubs. In Davenport, he met Carolyn while working as a maintenance guy at the Vera French Mental Health Center. However, the two did not get married until two months after his wife passed away. After Jerry called Carolyn to seek help donating some items to charity after his wife passed away, Carolyn told The Hollywood Reporter that that's when they started dating. She stated that in July 2018, she resigned her work to move in with him, but as his demands became apparent, things quickly became worse. She claimed, for instance, that he quickly told Carolyn that she would have to pay roughly $1,000 per month for her part of expenses, which she was able to reduce to $850. According to reports, Jerry was so worried about splitting the bill that Carolyn would prepay for her meals at restaurants so he could pretend he was covering the whole amount when the check arrived. It is also said that the reality star had a cleaning obsession, forcing Carolyn to make the bed before they had breakfast each morning. After Carolyn claimed that Jerry would not be bringing her to his high school reunion due to her weight, the romance came to an end in late 2019. Carolyn was then supposedly instructed by the Golden Bachelor that she needed to leave the mansion by January 1, 2020, according to THR, which looked through the ex-couple's emails and texts and talked to witnesses of their connection. After Carolyn went down the stairs while packing and needed emergency surgery, she said Jerry accused her of trying to use the mishap as a justification to remain longer at his house and that she intended to sue him for it. She said that he would not even allow her to stay at the house while she completed the required two weeks of notice at her new job in Indiana, forcing her to stay at a hotel. Teresa vehemently denied that the incident played into their breakup. That was something Jerry had already explained to me and we had talked about before the report was made public. So that was fine with us. Individuals swiftly took to social media to express their opinions about the divorce, many of them said they were not surprised. Someone commented on X, the former Twitter, saying, oh no surprise there. Hate to say it but not really, told you so, concurred another. Are we surprised? inquired another, and a fourth individual said, called this one. I wouldn't move away from my family for anything, but most ladies in their 70s would tell you that, my grandkids and kids are everything. A fifth tweet noted that others got their predicament. Particularly a male. Nope. A sixth person remarked, at that age, who wants to leave their family and life behind to move in with a stranger they just met? There is not much time left. Enjoy it with your loved ones.